This is one that I've been asked to make over and over and over again since I started shooting for the NFL. If you've seen my Instagram posts for the NFL photos, I do this thing where I put a white border around the photos. The main reason I do this is because I'm shooting pretty much everything wide. Whenever I'm shooting, I'm shooting all horizontal and then I can crop vertical, but I like showing the wide photos and I also like posting a lot that I got from the game. We're talking about how you do that today and it includes one thing and that's Photoshop. All right, so we're in Photoshop and we're gonna go up to the top left we're gonna select new file. Once we get here, we're gonna actually make a custom preset. Usually whenever you're posting photos on Instagram, you'll do them four by five. Sometimes it's 1080 by 1350, but since we have these high resolution photos, we're just gonna double that. We want more pixels, we want more quality, and a lot of times people will be asking how you get high quality photos on Instagram, and it's just shooting and editing in higher qualities as well, because Instagram might down res it, but if it is a higher quality file in the beginning, well, it's gonna help. So we're gonna go up to width, and we're gonna go 2160, and then the height is going to be 2700. This is still that four by five, but it is just higher resolution. Leave everything else the same, just like you see it. Click create. Now we have the four by five set up right here. How do we get things to look the same slide by slide? We're gonna start fresh and we're actually gonna make guidelines so that we can make sure everything lines up perfectly just like the previous photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make guidelines on the sides. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab this roller on the left side where you see all of these numbers and we're gonna drag it all the way over to on top of our canvas until we see 7% right there. So what that is is it takes up 7% of the frame. It's that simple. And then we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna go over to 93%, which is just the same thing, it's 7% in from the opposite side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the top and the bottom. We're gonna drag the top down, and this time we're gonna go down to 3%, and then we're gonna do the same thing, go down to 97%. This is what I've noticed works best for me. It's just my opinion and how I like to make it work. It makes it work well whenever you have a photo up top and on the bottom. You just can't leave that much space up top because you still wanna maintain a good amount of space between the photos because it gets clunky if you don't. So now that we have those guidelines made, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna import the photos. For the sake of this example, I'm just gonna grab the top two. I'm gonna grab one and two, drag them straight into Photoshop, and just click enter, and then click enter again. Now we have the two photos in, we obviously have to resize them to make it work, but we're gonna grab this first one up top, and we're gonna go Command T. That's transform, that'll allow you to reshape your photo, to resize it accordingly and move it around. And then we're gonna drag it from the right side to our guideline, and it should snap to it perfectly. Drag the left side to the guideline, and then select the photo and drag it up to that top guideline. Now we know it matches up perfectly, and it's going to be along those lines, that's where the photo ends. Now we're gonna select the one underneath it, Command T once again, drag that right side, drag that left side, drag that to the bottom, and click enter. Right there you have a slide. You're showing two wide photos and a high resolution, and it's just gonna be the best that you can possibly make it while still keeping those wide photos. I like this, this is my preference, this is how I like to post the wide photos because I don't like to leave them wide on Instagram. Now the next question that a lot of people might ask is how do you export them? Very, very simple, I go file, export, export as, and then I go to format, I change format to JPEG, and then I make this quality as high as it can go, all the way up to seven, and then I leave everything else the same. Then go ahead, click export, select where you wanna save it to, and you're good to go. I recommend if you have a Mac and an iPhone, go ahead, just airdrop it. It's the best way to get the photos to your phone without losing any quality. Now quickly before I go, we're gonna talk about how I do the first slide. This is what the first slide looks like. It's the photo with the little text below it. Very simple, similar technique. I'm just gonna delete this bottom one because the first slide, I like to always have one photo, my favorite photo from the week. So this one we're gonna use for the cover slide. 
we're gonna drag it on down until we get that center. Whenever you get a horizontal one going across, that means it's centered. So you have the vertical center, you have the horizontal center. And then just like that, we have the one photo, but how do we make the text? Go ahead, click T on your keyboard, and then click wherever you want and it'll make a text box. So I usually do the two teams names and then the date. For this one, it was Bears versus 49ers. And I go double space and then the line down, which is on my keyboard, third row down, far right. I don't know what it is actually called. And then I'm gonna go space, space, and then I'm going to type in the date. So this one was 9, 12, 2022. I think that was it, doesn't really matter. Change the color to black, obviously we don't want it to be white. And then I like a nice clean font. I actually use Times New Roman, which, you know, that's what we all know from writing our papers in high school, but it actually works out really well. Then there's two different ways you can change the size of your font. You can go up to the top while you have your text highlighted and just change it. You know, that would be too big, but also you can click enter to lock in your text whenever you just change the color of it. And then do command T once again, similar to resizing the photos and then just freely change the text size how you want. That looks like a pretty decent size. I actually forgot to click on Times New Roman, so I'm going to go over. I'm gonna go Times New Roman regular. And just like that, we have the nice clean text below it. A great title slide, so it looks similar to all the other ones, but not the same. It stands out at the beginning. Now there it is. It's that simple to make these cool Instagram posts, to make that white border, get that clean look showing wide photos without posting wide on Instagram. If you like this video, throw me a subscription. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, and I'm gonna keep posting videos for you guys. If you don't follow me on TikTok already, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video.